Hello there and welcome to this follow-up video on ionic bonding. What we've done in the past is looking at what an ionic bond is. What we're going to be looking at today is how you can actually draw ionic bonds occurring. Okay, so in an exam, if you got the question, draw the ionic bonding in magnesium chloride, the first thing you need to do is actually draw the outer shells of both the metal and the non-metal. So here we have magnesium, which wants to lose two electrons because it's in group two and has two electrons in the outer shell. And then we have chlorine, which is in group seven, so it has seven electrons in the outer shell and wants to gain one. Now, as we spoke about in the previous video, magnesium, the metal, will want to give its electrons to chlorine. So magnesium here is going to lose one electron and hand it over to chlorine. The issue there is chlorine has got a full outer shell, but magnesium doesn't. It's still got one left. So what do we need to do with that? And the solution is we add in another chlorine atom. So the same process then occurs. We've got one electron on the magnesium now that is transferred over to the chlorine. That chlorine then gets a full outer shell and becomes negatively charged and our magnesium becomes Mg2 plus overall. Now what we've just done is to actually draw the bonding, but what you need to be able to do is draw the actual ionic bond itself. So what you do is now you've figured out you've got two chlorines and one magnesium, draw the electronic configurations again, rub out the charges and put them all in the electrons in the correct place, and then put the charge up at the top with a bracket around. So chlorine has gained one electron, is negative, put a bracket around it. Magnesium has lost two electrons, it's become two plus, put a bracket around it, and chlorine has become Cl minus by gaining an electron. And that gives you your overall formula of MgCl2. So just make sure that's how you draw it once you've actually done the swapping of electrons. So if we have a look at another example, sodium oxide, we've got Na, which is in group one, and we've got oxide, which is oxygen, which is in group six. So start by drawing the electronic configuration for both. Remembering you only need to do the outer shells when you're doing ionic bonding. And then do the same process. Sodium in group one loses an electron, gives it to oxygen. We've got the same issue again here. Sodium is now complete, but oxygen isn't. So we get another sodium atom, draw it out again, and move that electron across, which will give us oxygen, which has gained two electrons to become O2 minus, and then our two sodiums, which have lost an electron to become positive, which gives us the formula of Na2O. Again, once you've done this, you can actually draw the electronic configurations of the ions, which is what this question will be asking for. So to do that, draw your sodiums again. The fact that you have two different sodiums and one oxygen. Now, what it might be advisable to do is actually do this in one large flowing diagram so you can actually see it before and after. So here I've drawn two sodium atoms and the one oxygen atom, and I've drawn the arrows to where they're going to be transferred from and to. Then I've put an arrow and I'm going to put them both in with that change of electrons and the brackets around. So sodium, which has lost its electron, has nothing none in this outer shell and is positive. I've then got my oxygen in the middle that has gained two electrons, one from one sodium, one from the other, and that becomes two minus, and then the same with the final sodium that's remaining. Okay, let's have a look at a practice question then. So this says aluminium is in group three and chlorine is in group seven. Draw the ionic bond present in aluminium chloride. State the formula for aluminium chloride as well. So it's five marks in total. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how much you've picked up so far. Okay, so before you get to the actual marking bit, what I would do is draw out the atom. So aluminium has got three in the outer shell, and chlorine has got seven in the outer shell. So the first thing you want to do is transfer one of those electrons from aluminium over. So that's going to give you a chlorine with a full outer shell, which is going to become negative, and aluminium, which is positive, but still has two more to lose. Draw another chlorine and continue this pattern until all the aluminium atoms are gone. So you'll have another chlorine there with a minus charge and you'll have an aluminium with a two plus charge. You need to lose one more aluminium electron, so draw one more chlorine and then do the same again. So you'll now have Al3 plus and three chlorines with a negative charge. So your formula will be AlCl3. So that gets you the one mark for working out the formula. The next step is being able to actually do the actual ionic bonding part. So to do that, you know you have one aluminium. Draw it. You don't need to put any electrons on there because it now has the full outer shell and put your three plus charge on. The next thing, you know you have three chlorine atoms, so put those on. 
By the way, you've got one mark for saying aluminium is 3 plus and one mark for drawing the aluminium without any electrons on. So let's draw the chlorine atoms. As you can see, I'm doing that here. The first mark will be for getting one of those correct. So draw your chlorine with seven electrons on the outer shell and then put one in from your aluminium. This will give you chlorine in a bracket with a negative charge. So that is your third mark out of four. And then finally, you just need to do the same thing for the other two. So the final mark is making sure that everything else is correct. So that will give you the overall formula, as we said previously, of AlCl3. That just about sums up this video then. Uh, here's a nice challenging question for you. So for the exam, you will need to know how to draw the dot and cross diagrams, which is what we've just been doing, for sodium chloride, magnesium oxide, magnesium chloride, and sodium oxide. So the first thing you'll need to do is find out what group they're in, so that you'll know how many electrons in the outer shell, and then use that to draw the dot and cross diagrams of the ions for each of the above compounds, making sure you put the brackets and the charges in. That's worth six marks. And that ends this video.